Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jugs and what's up? What's going on guys? How are you guys doing? Uh, let me know in the comments below. What have you guys been up to? I haven't really spoke to you guys in a commentary in forever. I think the last time I made a commentary was like three weeks ago or two weeks ago or something like that. But, you know, I've just been doing these Let's Plays, uh, these Let's Play commentaries and it doesn't really give me an opportunity to speak to you guys about just random shit. So, um, here it is. This is a commentary. And this gameplay, it's going to be Black Ops, it's going to be The Silence Galil, um, yeah, I'm fucking original, I know, but this is an older gameplay, so don't don't judge me for that, I'll kill you, I'll uh, cut your nuts off and feed it to your mother. And this, I go 43 and 7, um, in TDM, regular TDM, which is pretty good, you know, getting more than half of the team's kills and probably contributing to, for the, the fewest deaths uh, for the other, the other team is, um, it's pretty good in my opinion so yeah this should be entertaining but the gameplay is irrelevant it's uh... It's, it doesn't really matter what i'm going to talk about is completely irrelevant so you guys are asking me why we don't play black ops because i invited you guys to add me if you wanted to play sometime or whatever and uh... you know you guys can still do that if you want to add me or whatever i have like thirty or like twenty spots still open on my friends list um, kinda took me by surprise because before i started adding people i had like twenty friends and now i have like fucking like 80 or 70 or something like that and uh, that just came out of nowhere I don't even I didn't even realize it but whatever so go ahead and add me while I still have room I'll accept your friend request just make sure you tell me your subscriber and you better fucking play the objective or I will kill you um, in real life IRL uh, so this commentary I know you guys are asking me that or you know telling me you guys want to play and stuff but truthfully I'm sorry guys I just don't play Call of Duty anymore that much really because I got to this point where uh, I kinda realized you know the same way that you would realize in a relationship that it's kinda just time to end things when uh, you're not you're, you're not enjoying things more than you are being frustrated or fighting or you know you know, uh, just pretty much having a shitty time, and and when I really compare, when I weigh the pros and cons, I'm just not having fun. You know, it's just all the bullshit, the campers and stuff like that. You know, camping, it's fine. It's a legitimate strategy when it's a uh, depending on the game type. And what I get frustrated at is, uh, don't get me wrong, it's it's not because I suck and because you know I'll get killed to a corner camper. I don't die to corner campers, not often at all. I always check my corners, I always do this, I always do that to make sure I don't die to these things and I play really methodically w while playing aggressively at the same time but it's just, it's just, I don't know, I, I want to play a game, uh, a first person shooter where I can just play the way it was meant to be played and to have fun the way I was meant to have fun rather than having to do all these things to, to watch my back for fucking assholes that exist in every fucking game type and, and it's just... You know, it's it's the fact that Call of Duty is so mainstream, it's so widely available. Well, it's not that it's widely available, all the games are widely available, but it's just, it's it's a it's a staple, it's an icon in the first person shooting uh, gaming genre, so that anybody who's interested in first person shooters most likely has a copy of Black Ops, and that means you're going to have a wider audience, uh, a mixed bag of, of uh, consumers who range from various ages and, and are probably really immature and don't play the game the way it's meant to be played so that's why you're gonna have that. I mean in games like Halo uh, that's a slightly more difficult game it's not as a, as a as a much of an much of an icon, I guess, as uh, Call of Duty is. So you can hop on that and expect a mature audience. It'll be less douchebaggery, but there's still douchebaggery in every game. I'm playing Battlefield, and there's still douchebaggery in that game. But I fucking love it. I'm having a good time. So I'll play that. Um, but the fact of the matter is, I just realized that, you know, I, I don't want to be spending my, all my time just being frustrated. Because especially if if you have other things going on in your life where you come home and you, you want to pop in a game and just sit back, relax, uh, have a drink, uh, fucking sit back in your, your lazy boy and just game it up and, and have fun with friends. You can't, you can't waste that, that free time, that, that small amount of free time that you have being frustrated because you play, you buy a console to escape all of that and I feel like it's serving, it's, it's giving me the opposite effect of what I wanted it to do. So. I was just like, fuck this, I'm not playing this anymore, so that's why I'm just playing all these different games. Um, I went from being burnt out on Call of Duty to, to just realizing that I'm not having fun anymore. 
So I was speaking to, to a friend over Xbox Live, and he was telling me that how he's not looking to Modern Warfare 3, but he's looking forward to Battlefield 3, and I feel the same way. I'm not looking forward to Modern Warfare 3 at all. I'll probably pick that game up. Maybe I'll pick it up just to upload content for you guys, but probably not. Maybe I will. Probably not. Um, if I do pick it up, it'll probably be uh, a while after its release, just to just to kind of feel it out to see if uh, if there are a lot of uh, exploitable douche douche tools to be uh, to be utilized. And if there is, then I'm not gonna buy that game. I'm just not. I'm gonna save myself the sixty dollars. I'd rather uh, I'd rather punch myself in the face for free than pay sixty dollars to have somebody shove a fist up my ass. That's just that's that's my mentality. So. I'm not gonna do that, but man, it's just what made me realize is, is uh, that I wasn't having fun. Is just that I, I remember gaming when I was younger, uh, playing all these older generation games like like Ninja Turtles on the Super Nintendo, and uh, you know, fucking fucking all these old like Sonic, um, Mario. Those those were the days. I, I played those games. Like I didn't know what I was doing half the time, but I remember sleeping over at my cousin's house and we were fucking and shit, and uh, we'd play games every now and then from like you know, 12 o'clock to like 6 a.m. in the morning, just, just gaming on the Super Nintendo while giving each other blowjobs, and it was fucking awesome, because, you know, there was no save on, on Ninja Turtles, so we'd end up just staying up as long as we possibly could, being like 11 years old at the time, you'd fall asleep at like 12, because you just, you just can't do it, so uh, it was, it was a fucking job to stay awake, and to just try to beat that game, and man, it was it was some of the funnest times I've had gaming in my life, along with playing games like the greatest fucking RPG of all time, Final Fantasy VII, in my eyes. And I know a lot of you guys will disagree, but you know it's 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 amazing that uh that these games these these games that that you know these RPGs like Shadow of the Colossus, Final Fantasy VII, all these games that tell this amazing, intricate, and really really articulate like story. They're becoming art forms. They're being argued as art nowadays. People are saying that that gaming deserves a spot, a spot in the art scene, and that really blows my mind. Not even the, not even, even if it didn't, you know, get that, get that recognition as art. The fact that it can be argued as art just blows my mind because it's, it's. I can see it. You know, when you play single player games, really good single player games that tell a story, it's a lot like watching a movie, except it goes even further, giving you that choice to make your own decisions like games like Mass Effect and, and Knights of the Old Republic. If you guys love RPGs and you guys are a fan of Star Wars and you don't mind the slightly older graphics and you like Mass Effect, play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, at least part one, and if you love that, then go ahead and try part two, but you're gonna find that the game is, you're gonna be less forgiving for uh, part two. But man, part one was just fucking amazing. It really, really shaped uh, the path for Bioware and uh, what they chose to do with all their next games. Same with Jade Empire, but that came after Knights of the Old Republic. But if you like play Mass Effect, this is turning into a rant about like the passion that I have for other games. And I don't know, I, I could stop myself right now, but I, I kind of love it. So fuck it, I'm gonna go with it. Um, when you play Mass Effect, it, it has like all these races and they kind of interact with each other and have different, different uh, stereotypes and uh, and um, you know, racist slurs or racial slurs and things like that. And that all came from, you know, Knights of the Old Republic, all the different races that had to commingle in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic with that rich, rich Star Wars uh, universe. And it seems like when they didn't have the rights that to that, you know, universe anymore, they went ahead and created their own world, their own galaxy, and, and named it Mass Effect and implemented all those same, those same aspects of the game that we all came to know and love. And they really just made it shine, created this new atmosphere. It's a lot like Star Trek, where you got your Captain Kirk as a Commander Shepard, but he's a fucking badass. It's, oh man, I'm like really passionate about gaming. I love gaming to death. And if you guys don't feel the same way, it, it's, you know, to each their own, but it's probably because you're only playing first person shooters. And it's a real shame. You need to get out there and just try other games. I really encourage you guys to try other games. So that's the reason I'm not playing first person shooters anymore is because I can't feel this way about uh, you know pony noobs online I used to when the concept was new to me when I first bought my PS3 um, I bought the PS3 over the Xbox because uh, the Xbox was a better online experience but the fucking lifespan of the uh, the Xbox was pretty shitty so I now I have an Xbox now because uh, I bought a slim but Man, the concept was amazing to me at the time, but now that I've kind of had my time with it, it's uh, it's it's wearing down, and I'm going back to the roots of gaming, 
and what it's really all about and uh, I encourage you guys to do the same so that's why I'm not playing anymore but I encourage you guys to find out what gaming is all about and try a lot of things because you will be surprised at how much fun you can have actually making choices or, or just sitting back and watching a story unfold in front of you rather than just shooting people in the face which is extremely awesome in its own right but I mean you gotta try more than one thing out there um, so yeah that's all I had to say I hope you guys enjoyed peace out this has been Jugs